Good evening. I have chosen to provide an in-depth analysis of the United States versus Joseph M. Arpaio as my Supreme Court case that involves immunity. Joseph M. Arpaio is the 85-year-old former sheriff of Arizona Maricopa County. The self-proclaimed America's toughest sheriff held office for 24 years, from 1993 to 2016. The reason I chose this particular case is because the U.S. Supreme Court tried and convicted Mr. Arpaio of criminal contempt of court on July 31st, 2017. He was scheduled to be sentenced in October, but President Donald Trump pardoned him on August 25th, 2017. According to a Fox News report titled, Former Sheriff Fires Back at Judge in His Contempt Case, it states, a lawsuit was filed in October of 26 against the former sheriff and his office for unlawful discriminatory police conduct. For example, the complaint that was filed with the United States District Court for the District of Arizona states that Mr. Ar Arpaio and his deputies were racially profiling Latinos, un unlawfully stopping, detaining, and arresting them based on their race, color, and national origin. And prisoners with limited English language skills were denied constitutional protections. The complaint goes on to state that the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office was also in the practice of retaliating against their perceived critics by subjecting them to baseless criminal actions, unfounded civil lawsuits, or meritless administrative actions. The Bill of Rights, which makes up the first 10 amendments of the U.S. Constitution, establishes that the government was founded to protect, maintain, and guarantee individual rights. More importantly, in order for any sheriff in the United States to hold office, they affirm by oath to uphold the U.S. Constitution as the supreme law of the land. Mr. Arapayo was found guilty of violating his oath, and in doing so has committed the act of treason. In 1776, the Declaration of Independence was drafted. The second paragraph states that all men are created equal and born with certain un unalienable rights. Among these rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Unalienable rights are defined as absolute rights that cannot be taken nor given away. Unfortunately, President Trump's pardon of former Sheriff Joe Arpaio's unconstitutional acts sends a message to Latinos that reside in Arizona that the rights that are protected, maintained, and guaranteed by the Constitution do not apply to them. This leads us to ask, how else would it be possible for President Trump to grant Mr. Arpaio and those who acted under his authority to permanently protect to be permanently protected from all legal liability in association with their criminal acts.